Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to understand C-sharp constructors. Constructor is a special method that gets called when an instance of a class is created. Let's understand constructors with an example. I have created this console application. I will add a new class. Right click, choose add. Then you can choose class. I will name it as student. I will create a class. Click on add. As you all know, in object oriented programming, we create class to represent real world entities and we describe class using fields or you can even use properties. Now I'm going to add properties to this class. I have added properties name, age, and grade. Just a quick recap property is a member of a class that provides flexible mechanism to read, write, and compute the value of a private field. Properties can be used as if they are public data members, they are, but they are special methods called accessors. In this class, we have added auto-implemented properties. We use auto-implemented properties when, when we don't need any custom logic for the private fields. In this case, compiler will create the private field for us. We don't have to explicitly declare private fields. In this class, we have not added any constructor. If we don't provide any constructor in our class, c -sharp will automatically create a default constructor with no parameters for us. This default constructor initializes the object's fields to their default values. If we create an instance of the student class, the default constructor will assign the default values for the property types. Data type of name is string, so default value will be null. In case of age, default value will be 0. And in case of grade, default value will be 0, 0.0. Let's understand the key responsibilities of a constructor. The primary responsibility of a constructor is to initialize the state of an object, that is, initialize the data members of the new object. And constructors often allocate memory for the object. There are different types of constructors, like default constructor, parameterized constructor, then private constructor, static constructor, copy constructor. Each of these constructors have special role and rules to follow. In this session, we have learned default constructor. In our upcoming sessions, we are going to understand each of these constructors one by one. There are a few important things to know about constructors. First one is name of the constructor is same as the name of its type. Its method signature includes only an optional access modifier, the method name and its parameter list and constructor does not include a return type. Stay tuned. We are going to learn more about constructors in our upcoming sessions. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.